Today we're going to be solving equations using using cross multiplication. You might have heard of cross multiplication before. Multi oh, that was right. Multiplication when you've um, learned proportions. Right, when you when you have a proportion such as five tenth equals say ten over twenty, uh, if you cross multiply like this, you should get the same answer. And so five actually let me use different colors for these. So multiplying the the ones that I've circled in red should equal the ones that I've circled in blue. So if you do 5 times 20, you get 100. And also if you get 10 times 10, that also equals 100. So that was kind of like a property of proportions. When you cross multiply them, uh, you have to get the same answer. And we can use this same principle when we're solving equations. Let's start off with something a bit easier. So let's say that we have 1 half equals x over 6. Okay, what does x equal? And this case is, is easy because um, 2 times a certain number gives us 6. What does uh, what 2 times what equals 6? Uh, let me use dot here instead of an x for multiplication so that you don't confuse with x. So if you multiply 2 by 3, you get 6. So you do the same thing to the numerator to find what x is. You have to multiply by 3, multiply the numerator by 3. So the numerator is 1, you multiply by 3. So that means the numerator uh, for the second fraction here has to be 3. So that means x has to be 3. And once you've solved this, you can check by cross multiplication. If you multiply 1 times 6, do you get the same answer as 2 times 3? 1 times 6, you get 6. And 2 times 3, you get 6 as well. So that means our answer here, x equals 3, is correct. Okay, But there are some harder cases. For example, uh, we have 2 thirds equals x over 5. Okay, this is a bit harder because there is no number that you can multiply 3 to get to 5, or at least there's no whole number that you can do this with. Okay, so that's why if you have a question like this, you have to solve a question like this, you have to use cross multiplication. Okay, remember our property here. If you multiply these, oops, let me use a different color here. If you multiply these, you have to get the same answer as when you multiply these. Okay, so Let's see how that looks like. When you multiply 2 times 5, 2 times 5, that has to equal the same thing as 3 times x. Okay, so now you can simplify one side. So 2 times 5 is 10. That equals 3 times x. And to get or to solve for x, you have to divide by 3 on both sides because 3 is being multiplied here, you have to do the opposite. Remember our two rules for solving equations, you have to do the opposite. And you have to do that to both sides. So the opposite of times 3 here is divide by 3. So you have to divide this side by 3. If you do that, the 3s are going to cancel. 3 times uh, and then divided by 3 would just be 1. But you have to do the same thing to this side as well. 
Okay, so you divide that by 3. Now, 10 divided by 3, this is not a whole number. So you can leave it like this as 10 over 3. But um, in, in learning arithmetic, I would much rather have you to change this to a mixed number because it's very hard to understand how big 10 third is. But once you change this to a mixed number, like 3 and 1 third, you have a good understanding of how big this number is. This is a little bit bigger than 3. To be more specific, it's a third bigger than 3. So that is what our x equals. And that would be our answer. So that means um, in our original question over here, if this equality is to be true, the x has to be 3 and 1 third. Okay, so, and now you can see why we couldn't uh, do this intuitively as easily as we did this equation right here, because x is not a whole number. Okay, but you can still solve for x using uh, cross multiplication. Let's try another example. Um, we have 4 ninths equals, this time let's have x on the bottom, 7 over x. Okay, how can we solve for x in this question? Again, uh, there's no number that you can multiply 4 to get to 7. Okay, so this means that we'll have to use cross multiplication again. So let's cross multiply 4 times x and then 9 times 7. If you multiply 4 times x, that's just going to be 4 times x. We don't know what x is, so we can't simplify that. That's going to equal 7 times 9, which is 63. Okay, now here you can solve for x by doing the opposite of 4 times, which is divided by 4. And you have to do that to both sides. So this side, the 4 will cancel. Um, and also, yes, for solving equations, I would highly recommend you to show all this work. Because uh, when you just start solving equations, you can't uh, really do this by head. You uh, Sometimes the answers are very counterintuitive. So like I did here, and like I did on the previous question, please show all your work. Show what which number you're dividing by. Um, and show which operation you're doing to both sides. Okay, so going back to our question here, uh, the 4 cancelled on the left side, so we just have x. Let me just move this whole thing over here. So x equals 63 divided by 4. 63 divided by 4, which is just 63 over 4. What is that as a uh, mixed number? 4 goes into 6 one time, and then we have 23, so that's going to be 5, and then 3 fourths. Okay, so x is equal to 15 and 3 fourths. Okay, so that would be our answer. And you can always check your answer. So x equals 15 and 3 fourths, right? And if you multiply this times this, like when you cross multiply, you have to get 63. Let's actually check here. So when you multiply 4 times 15 and 3 fourths, you actually have to get uh, 7 times 9. Okay, this is the, the red part here, then this is the blue part here. Okay, this, this is the rule for cross multiplication. And let's see we know that the, the right side is 63. 7 times 9 is 63. Let's see if our left side is also 63. Let's erase for some room. All right, so let's do 4 times 15 and 3 fourths. If you change that to improper fraction, we have, we have it down here. It's 63 over 4. If you multiply 63 over 4 by 4, the 4s are going to cancel. So we're going to be left with 63. So our equality holds. So it means our answer was right. 63 equals 63. So this is how you can solve proportions uh, using cross multiplication uh, when uh, you, you, there's no nice whole number that you can multiply 
uh, the first fraction to get to the second fraction.